in view and accommodating size. Gary Kenny won a hundred thousand dollars. Hey, wait a minute, that's Larry Bird. Don't believe it. Larry Flake Show only on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another 2.5 swap video. So today I've got a couple things I want to update you guys on. One being the two new parts that I got for the 2.5 motor specifically that I haven't shown you before. And we're also for sure going to get the radiator out today. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it in the last video. I think I just got overheated a little bit and tired and had been a long weekend. So if you'll remember last week I had that migraine on Saturday. So kind of worked double time to get something done on Sunday and edited and uh, published for you guys. And this morning, Saturday, um, it's gonna be a little bit of a later upload. I am uploading today, so happy Saturday, happy weekend. So that's what we're gonna be doing today and I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit further on maybe checking to see if there's anything else I can disconnect from the engine before uh, dropping the engine out with the subframe. So pretty exciting day, stay tuned. So let's cue the music and then jump into the car. So our radiator is all out. Everything is clear of the engine now, basically. Um, there's not much else I can see, minus maybe a few hoses that I missed. I missed a couple on the radiator, but they were pretty easy to take off. I need to obviously get this off, that heater hose, and I think once I get that, we should be about ready. Need to get the brake booster hose off. Some of these fuel lines need to obviously come off and I think we should be good. So I'm gonna take off the hoses really quick and then we're gonna jump over and we're going to uh, probably start swapping over the fan and everything to our new radiator assembly and show you the differences. I mean, you can already tell there's a very big difference in the radiator core. So we'll start swapping stuff between these after I take all those hoses off. The OEM radiator all disassembled. We got the power steering cooler lines, AC, fan, and our radiator. And look at this. This is the tiniest thing. And it weighs like nothing. So that's interesting to see once you break it all down. And I mean, compared to our CSF radiator, I mean, there's just a phenomenal difference in size um, weights pretty close to being the same surprisingly so now all we're gonna do is swap over all this stuff to our new one I don't think we're going to install the radiator today but at least get it all set up
radiator is fully assembled. So it's got everything on it um, that needs to be, all the supports, AC, the power steering cooler lines. Um, one thing I noticed about this is the for the power steering lines, this bracket right here, it fits the uh, CSF radiator. It's a little wonky, it like makes contact here and here and I had to push the metal in to actually get the bolt in. Not a huge deal, because everything else fit fine and this isn't going to move at all, so I'm not worried about it rubbing through any other metal. Um, but that's really the only thing that I noticed about the CSF radiator that fell off. Everything else was really, really well put together. All the welds were nice, everything lined up as it should. They change the style of these. Instead of doing little plastic clips, they actually uh, use a bolt with lock washer to put the fan shroud on, but otherwise it's good to go. And now we can move on. You also see here that I got the other little coolant lines out. I also got the fuel lines disconnected too. So I think the engine is pretty much ready to come out. So now that we are done working in the engine bay, I'm gonna show you the two uh, new parts that I got for the 2.5. So first thing, um, you'll notice if you follow me um, on my live streams, I haven't done one in a little bit. I might do one soon, but I showed these on a live stream already. These are the 70 durometer AWR uh, engine mounts. These are the lowered ones for the 2.5. And super nice piece of kit here. Um, I'm excited to put these on and see how they do. I mean, I'm not super worried about comfort anymore. I mean, I'm trying to make this car like a streetable track car and I'm not worried about vibration so it's really not a big deal. The other thing that we got um, another item from Massive Speed we got their flywheel uh, bolt kit so some new bolts for our flywheel that'll be good when we put the new flywheel on. If you don't want to reuse your bolts for things like that that are high torque and you got new ones for that. So two more little things that are going to be going on the engine. Um, just all nice upgrades over OEM. So I'm going to close out this video here. The engine is pretty much ready to come out. There is one thing I'm waiting on and I think next weekend is when I'm going to um, attempt to get it out. So there's really two options for me to do this. I'm pretty much doing this mostly by myself. Actually all of it has been by myself so far and I'm trying to make this as easy as possible in myself. Now, one way you can do it is you can use the furniture dollies, drop the car down under the furniture dollies and get the engine out that way. I just am probably gonna have to lift the car up, but I'm trying to save myself a step here and I think I'm gonna go and get a hydraulic jack table. It's like a small table, it's got wheels on it, it goes low. Jack it up underneath the engine, take everything off, drop it back down. So I think I'm gonna go pick that up probably towards next weekend when I will try to get the engine out and then we can really start rolling from there, getting the parts over to the new engine and getting it back in and everything put back together. So still a few more videos to go on this whole thing. I know it's been a long one. Um, I think it's been over, a, it's certainly been over a year now that I've had the new engine, um, but I knew it was going to be a slow process and I knew that I was going to take my time and get everything that I wanted. I wasn't going to skimp out on things. So it's been fun. It's been a learning experience and I'm ready to get this thing off jack stands and drive it. I really just want to get this done and enjoy it. And I drive around and I see people in their convertibles and stuff. And I know it's hot as hell in Texas, but man, it makes you miss it. You miss, the, you don't, you don't miss it for like the first couple weeks and then you really start to miss having the option to drive your fun car around. So I'm gonna close this video out here. Stay tuned for next weekend when we uh, try to get the engine out. So give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next one.